I'm realizing that the sandwich I made, which is a sandwich I really love to make, ham, mustard, pickles, and cheese, is just one away from a Cuban. Cuban is also um, one of my favorite sandwiches. And I really, I don't, it's not that I mind tomato and lettuce. I just don't normally have tomato and lettuce. And sometimes even when I do, that's not what I want on a sandwich. If I just had some like, shredded pork, I would be set. Hi everyone, welcome to Friday. It is Friday. I have continued to feel tired when I shouldn't, and I am willing to call it what it is at this point. It's jet lag. It's jet lag. I realized it last night after I finished the vlog. I was like, yeah, this is exactly what this is because jet lag is where you have had enough sleep and you're going about your day and in the middle of the day for no reason, your body's like, you are exhausted. Sleep right now. And that's that's what I've been experiencing because I, I have been getting sleep and it doesn't matter. So um, that sucks. Uh, at some point this will be resolved. Uh, it just isn't quite resolved yet. There's been times where we've been international and like it's taken like one to two weeks. Really hope it's on the, the shorter side instead of the longer side, but I guess we'll find out. But I'm just doing my best, uh, getting the sleep that I can and then working when I can. And when my body is like, ah, then um, I try and take like a short nap or power through. Sometimes you can power through it and then the exhaustion leaves. So one of the two, it'll go away eventually. I don't know that I've ever had this happen to me after an extra life event. That might be bold to say, because we've done this for 13 years. Yeah. So it probably has happened once before, mm -hmm. but I don't remember. No, I'm pretty sure it happens like all the time. It doesn't you. happen. All, no, that's not true. Pretty that's sure. no, all that's time. not. No, Mallory. No, that's not true. That's not true. This has happened. This is not, it is not usually a week after the event that I'm still feeling the effects of it. I think probably, I don't know. I can't remember anything. Today is Friday. So we're going to be finally getting back to Banjo-Kazooie. Exciting because we haven't touched it in two weeks. Um, we're almost done with the game. We got to do Click Clock Wood tonight, and then we'll, the last bit of it we will wrap up next week. So the the game should end next week unless something goes terribly wrong. But I suspect that it'll be it'll be fine. Once I finish the sandwich, just gonna work. Cross my fingers I don't feel any exhaustion. And try to make it all the way to tonight. We beat Click Clock Wood, which is good, because it's a level in Banjo Kazooie, and if we want to beat Banjo Kazooie, we have to beat the levels in Banjo Kazooie. So that was good that we did that. It was also the last world in in Banjo Kazooie. I'm very excited about next week, not just because it's the finale, but because of what the ending of Banjo is like, and Mal doesn't know anything about it, so it's going to be a surprise, and I'm, 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 I'm excited. It's going to be very fun. Uh, Click Clock Wood didn't give us a lot of trouble, but we couldn't figure out where one of the Jiggies were, the one with the flower. We got all of the way to the end, and we're like, I don't know where this is, so we had to look at the at the book. But we found the hexagons, like the, the life bonuses on our own. And we found 99 notes. And then we were like, where's the last note? But we found it. It was, it was in Mumbo's hut. We had grabbed three of the four. So we went back and got it. All in all, Banjo-Kazooie so far has been a real joy to revisit. And it is, it's harder than I remember, especially considering the fact that you know, when I played this, and when most people played this, it was on N64, and you had to get all of the notes, like, in one go. And I'm like, oh, that's harder. That's, that's a lot harder. And, like, I know this, but, like, the game is still challenging. The game's challenging on Xbox. So, like, there's, there's some pretty challenging parts. And forcing someone to get all of the notes, especially on a level like as difficult as Click Clock would, that's asking a lot. That's asking a lot of kids. I was nine when this game came out and I beat it all. And I'm like, oh, this was hard. <laughs> I 
but it's been fun. And I'm looking forward to next week when we when we wrap it up. One of the things we mentioned on stream is that we actually have finished a lot of games in a short period of time. I just finished Subnautica. Uh, on Wednesday, I played through the entirety of Mario Land 2. And then on Monday, this coming Monday, Mao is going to be finishing Dark Cloud 2. And then next week, we're finishing Banjo. So it's a bunch of games that we're finishing all at once. And uh, it's just very strange after having played extremely long games like Zelda, which were on the channel for what feels like forever. Now we're playing shorter games again, and we're just like really moving through them. So it's a nice change of pace. I don't mind long games, obviously. I've played several very, very long games in my, my time with, you know, the channels. But it's nice to step away from that for a while and just do little games. And I've really enjoyed it. All right. The weekend's here. Cool. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?